questions? Uh, looking back, mm, um, first of all, my time here has been great. Um, I mean, just the many experiences that I've gotten to take on while being here, I mean, I can't ask for anything better. Just like here at Tristan, Yellum, Salamna, going to Ethiopia, having that opportunity, just being looked up to as a leader on the team, just things like that, and actually seeing myself progress over the years and actually seeing my teammates maybe have that same spitting image that I had, like maybe my freshman and sophomore year, seeing them go from one person to becoming a better man and a better person and, and ultimately a better player on the field. When you came here four years ago, did you expect to see this program elevate as high as it did so fast in your four years? Uh, absolutely. I mean, honestly, I thought it probably would have come a lot faster, but at the same time, we knew, we knew it would take time. That was one of the reasons why I chose Kentucky because I felt like I felt it and I believe that it was a chance for us to actually be good. And I mean, that's, and that's how we just try to uh, change the culture throughout these years now. Just everybody having the understanding that if we go out there and do our job and execute the way we need to, we, we have a chance of being whatever type of team we want to be. That's a great team, Joe. What do you think Saturday's going to be like this week taking the program Um. It's going to be a bittersweet moment. I mean, it's um, asking all the fans just to show up and give us that support that we need. And, I mean, being, being in Commonwealth for the last time Saturday, I honestly don't know how it's going to hit me yet because, I mean, I have a lot of factors going into it. I mean, my mom's not going to be here, just things like that. And just think, thinking about things like that, I, I have a lot of my family here, a lot of her side of the family here. So, I mean, just... With them being able to watch me really for the first time ever, I mean, I can't ask for a better opportunity to at least go out there and, and put on a performance for my family, the fans, and my teammates. So, Punch, you've been so important the last few years. It's like it, it took you some time to get to the point to play early. What do you remember about those early years? And, and was there a moment where it finally clicked on you? Uh, yeah, I mean, what I remember the most about it is how frustrating it was. Just the transition of going to school, then come, then having football. I mean, that's one of the biggest transitions of my life. And just going through things like that, I mean, you just, that was one of the things that really just helped me grow up and uh, become a better person and try to be the best teammate I can be because I quickly learned that you have to step down in order to step up. So, and I mean, so, and I had to realize it quickly, had to go back to square one. And that's when, when I went back to uh, work with my brother. And ever since then, just it was all about attitude and how I wanted to be looked at as a person, what I wanted to uh, put out on film. So just with my brother's help and having everyone around here, like it made me want to, it made me want to be better. It made me want to uh, be a better teammate, made me want to be a better person and just, Things like that, the leadership around here is unbelievable now. And can't talk about that enough. It's been like you're going the process of knowing how to get back up when you get knocked down, and you can get back up and come back even stronger. Mm -hmm. Is that one of the things you learned here throughout your career? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Because, I mean, just my true freshman year, we went what? Uh, we went four and one. Then we ended up going five and seven, no bowl game, anything like that. And and it happened my freshman year and my redshirt freshman year. And those two years were probably some of the hardest years because I knew we had the talent, but I knew we had the, the attitude to want to do it. But we had, I mean, I mean, you, it was, it was being a uh, coach Juice being here, people not just buying in right away. And it's different now because when you're going out, he's only recruiting basically his guys here, only his guys are here now. So if you're coming in now, you know, the expectations of the team, you know, the expectations of of really just your, from the coaches and from your teammates, and we set we try to set those high so you can at least try to exceed them, not not meet them. We want we want to try to exceed them. So, what kind of legacy do you think you and the seniors have left here after your four years? Uh, probably the the fight, the fight in us, and the things that will the things. Uh, 
wanting to do right. And that's one of the things I see like a lot of the seniors have come from today. I mean, some of them may have gotten got in trouble our freshman year, things like that. But if you see them today, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even think they would have gotten in any type of trouble just by the way they carry themselves now. And that's how Coach Stoops have always taught us to. I mean, also be a uh, be a better teammate, but also be a better man at the end of the day. Who of the seniors do you think is going to get the most emotional during that ceremony before the game? Let me see. I got a feeling it could be, I don't know, it might be me, <laughs> honestly. It could be me because that's just the passion I have for my teammates. And I mean, I want to play the game well. I want to finish well, and I know that on the inside, it probably touched me a lot more than it would probably touch anyone else because I've I've been there before and I love to see when people are like rejoicing and actually reaping what they have sold into this program. So, everybody good?